Hey folks, all right. This time I wanna take a look at functions returning multiple values. So by default, when a function returns a value in Lisp, it just returns a single value. And when you capture the return value, you just capture that single value. It's pretty common practice if you've got, you know, multiple things you wanna to return to stick them in a list and then whoever calls the function gets the other things that they want out of the list. But we can actually have a function return multiple separate values. So there's a special function that allows us to do this, that in the function itself, and then a special way to retrieve the values from our, on the color side. So there's a values function that allows us to return multiple values. And then there's an nth value function that lets us specify, you know, I want the first one that got returned. I want the second one that got returned. I, got, I want the third one that got returned. And there's actually another one that's kind of a shorthand called multiple value bind that we'll look at separately. So in the function that wants to return multiple values, the way we do it is like this. We call values and give it the list of the, the, the assorted different values we want to return. So in this case, I want to return three things. I want to return, let's say, the square root of x, negative x, and the square of x, and not for any good reason, just to show returning multiple values. So this sets it up to return the three separate values in this particular circumstance. You could have other, you know, if, if our else case here, if, uh, if x isn't a number, then it's just going to return nil. So it's either going to return one value or three in this case. And the way we get at it is if we just do a regular, you know, def var or some variable and the result of the function call, it just by default captures that first one, right? In this case, the square root of x. If we want to get the second one, we use this nth value function, and you specify the position of the value you want to retrieve from the function call. So here, we're making a function call to f of three and saying, I want the, the second value in the list of return values. So it's going to get us that negative x. And similarly, nth value two, gives us the x squared. And if you specify a position that's out of range, it just gives you back a nil. So this way you can make a function call and just grab one of them. What if you want to grab all three of the return values? That's where the multiple value bind comes in. So multiple value bind, you make your function call and you give a list of local variables you want to store the return values in. So in this case, first, second, third, f of three, it would return the first return value in first, the second one in second, the third one in third. And then you can do whatever you want with them in the rest of the multiple value bind block. So if you ever do want to work with functions that return multiple values, this is one of the possibilities. And um, we'll see this come up in hash functions at some point.